Got a couple of these pomegranates for breakfast. This one's got a nice color. A smaller one here. Not sure if I'll finish both of these. This one's pretty dang big. Um, they were 60,000 a kilo, which is like 250. So I think I paid about $2. Here's what you for do. A lot of people, I, I struggled myself with cutting pomegranates. Like they're such a hassle, but you cut the top off and then you score it where the little sections are. Okay, it's pretty easy. And then you just pull it apart. Grab this bowl here. Oh my gosh, that noni smells incredible. See, look at that. Perfect little sections. And you just pop that in your bowl or you can just eat it like this. Mmm. Oh, those are big seeds or whatever you call them, little morsels. So yeah, this makes it a little bit easier. There's other methods of opening it. You could cut it in half and then hit it with a spoon. But I like this one. Seems to create the less mess for me. The least mess. Hi everyone, this is Austin from Robles. I uh, just did a push-up workout. <laughs> um, pushed myself pretty hard, and I kept overloading the muscle. You know, when you're when you're feeling the burn and you feel like you can't do any more, you got to do like three more at least. Got to push it, push it to the limit. Um, then I got. Some sugar cane juice. I started the day with a ginger shot actually before my workout. Um, ginger shot is great for muscle recovery. And uh, yeah, I definitely need that. But I got some sugar cane juice after my workout. Ran into my friend Jade at JD Raw on Instagram. Go follow her. And she actually bought some huge pomegranates and they look so good. And I was like, yeah, I gotta get some pomegranates. She was getting them to make juice. Which, like, I respect, but I love pomegranates. I just want to eat them. So here, I got my little bowl. Mm. Little juicy morsels. Forgot to pray. Of course. Thank you, God, for this food I am about to receive. Please bless the hands that allowed it to come to me today. Please help it nourish, energize, regenerate every cell in my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you guys like pomegranate? I remember eating these in India. They were amazing. These are really good too. Not the best pomegranates. I mean, not the sweetest, not the darkest color. But these are really good, very juicy. And a lot of, um, a lot of flesh. Sometimes I eat all of them. Sometimes I spit the seeds. It's just a lot, you know? It's a lot of seeds. Such a great fruit, though. I really want to try pomegranate juice. It just seems, you know, obviously, I just I just like to pick up and eat, you know, fruitarian style. But I might give it a try. I might give it a try because pure pomegranate juice. It's fire. It's fire. Anyways, that's how I'm starting my day. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Um, I'll see you soon. I wasn't satisfied by the pomegranate.
I'm eating this noni. It's been ripening it up a couple days. This one's not very spicy. It's kind of sweet, like a... Mm. It's like Gouda. Mm. So good. Amazing fruit. Hey everyone. Just got a really good mango. Check this out. I actually had two earlier, but they were not the best. I didn't film it. Wow. I spent like four hours at the beach, just meditating, doing a little bit of yoga. Just felt so good. I don't know why I was really stressed this morning, just out of nowhere. Had some sugar cane juice earlier. Meditation. Then I just took a rest. Been getting so much sun. And you gotta listen to your body. It's not good to force in food when you're stressed or when you when you're not hungry, you know what I mean? So today, just two meals, pomegranates for breakfast. And I didn't even really eat much of the pomegranates. I just spit out the fiber, so. And then I had that noni. Man, I noticed that noni digests incredibly fast. Holy crap. Mm. That's a really good mango. You get what you pay for. The first mangoes I got were 20,000 a kilo. Just like a dollar. This one costs twice as much. And it tastes twice as much. You know what I mean? Oh, great. Someone lit a huge trash fire in their house over there. It's not like a common occurrence, but it happens from time to time. I don't know if you guys can see that the sun right there. But, uh, yeah. It happens. It's Asia. You know, all trash gets burned. It's just that here, it's very out in the open. It's not like in some waste facility somewhere, you know? All trash gets burned. This is a really good mango. I had to look all over town for it too. It's not mango season, but God, am I craving mangoes. You know, it has, it's been a really good day actually. Time in nature, sun, appreciation. I went really hard on the push-ups today. 
I even was doing it on the wall right here. That's what I thought would help me a lot with my form. So that eventually, when I get to do a real one, And you can still get a burn going on the wall. But I did a lot of incline this morning. Incline push-ups. Absolutely amazing mango. And if you guys don't like the licking, I mean, it's a mango. Like, how do you eat a mango? I'd like to see someone try and eat a mango, like fancy. I want to see how they do it. They probably don't eat this part. I see a lot of Vietnamese. They don't even eat this. They just throw this away. This whole thing. I just eat the cheeks. I think that's what they call them, the mango cheeks. Like, screw that, man. What a waste. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Um, I got a busy work day tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm going to film or if I'm going to film that much. Um, I really appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, let me know if you're interested in purchasing my budget travel ebook on how I traveled for $300 a month in Bali, Malaysia, Philippines, India, Vietnam. So I would really appreciate your guys' support and um, hope everybody eats raw. Stay blissful. Peace out, guys.